today's churchtechcast.com screencast show updating lyrics in ProPresenter when they've already been put in. Oh, and did I mention you're live? The churchtechcast.com screencast show is generously provided for by viewers like you. Thank you. Head on over to patreon.com slash paulallencliff. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash paulallencliff, p-a-u-l. A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F, and you can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Every little bit helps, so thank you. And also, my latest book, Church Video School. Church Video School is a collection of daily lessons that take you from video novice to advance in just a short amount of time. Let's say that you are a tech person. Maybe you do web development, maybe you do sound, maybe you do lighting. Whatever your area of expertise is, it's not video, but your church has come to you and said, we want you to do video. Well, with Church Video School, you can get up and running in a short amount of time. So I really hope that you'll head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash cbs for Church Video School and pick up your copy. So I don't know if your church is like mine, but sometimes the pastor isn't quite done with the message or in between services there are revisions of the message and we really need to change what's in there. So I thought that I would show you exactly how we do it. It's not all that hard, but it's just one of those things where it's not perhaps immediately obvious. So let's head on over to Pro Presenter. And you might notice something if you've been watching my uh, tutorials. I've been using a Mighty Fortress is our God. So while this probably wouldn't happen this way, it probably wouldn't be the case that there would be an update to a song in between services. Well, I, I guess it could be if the service ran too long or something and the music minister said, oh, let me fix that real quick and fixed it in ProPresenter on another machine and then just sent you over this one little file, that's a possibility. I think actually it's much more likely to happen for the message that the pastor goes, oh, I'm going to cut some slides, or oh, I've added in this picture, or what have you. And in that case, sometimes you need to update the what's here. So let me show you real quick just how I would do that. First, um, I've already gone ahead and done this here. Let me go over to the finder. There we go. Okay, so I, I've already created a long and a short version so we can go back and forth a couple of times. So what I'm going to do is in the finder, I've, wherever I put this file, You'll notice this is a ProPresenter file, and it's really small, 5 kilobytes, because it doesn't include a background or anything in this particular case. So if I wanted to get this into here, the easiest way is just to double-click. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to just double-click right on here, and it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. And the answer in this case is yes. Now it could be that I wanted multiple versions, but what I'm going to do, you'll see this is called A Mighty Fortress is Our God, just like that. I'm going to overwrite this so that we get the new version so that I'm not in danger of using the short version, which I've just heard I'm not supposed to use. So I'm just going to click right over. And that should copy that on over and bam there it is there's the updated one and it's updated in the library and it's ready to go so let's say instead what happened was um, I'm the one that's doing this I'm the one that's updating these slides so I'm gonna command click on the last slide and hold down shift and command or command shift and click on the other slides just to select all those. I've gone over that before. And now I'm going to delete those. Yes, I want to delete them. So that gives me verse 2 on. So I've got verse 2, verse 3. This is actually verse 4, but it's labeled chorus. We talked about that earlier. 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. So first I'm going to save so that this is the way that I want it. And now let's say that I wanted to send this to someone else. What I would do is I can go to File, Export Playlist, and then I'm going to give it a name. So let's call it um, My T Fortress is Our God, and let's call this um, Verses 2 dash 4. Okay, so that shows up right there. And I can include the media in the presentation. This one doesn't have any media, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now I'm just going to click Save. Bam! That's saved just that fast. Now I can go back over to Finder to that same folder, which in this case was that. And if I was on a different machine, I could just double click this. It would overwrite and everything would be happy. Because this name doesn't have anything to do with this name. So this could be called Testing123 and it would still show up as A Mighty Fortress is Our God over here. But since this is kind of a funky version and what I really want to do is go back to the original long version. I'm just going to double click on A Mighty Fortress Long again. Again, right over. So this is how we do it at my church. We actually have someone in another room working on the sermon notes and uh, could be the pastor does that, could be that there's a team of people that do that. What happens is we have a team that they're really good at grammar. So that's what they do is they do the sermon notes and they double check for grammar, punctuation, all that stuff just to make sure that the pastor looks really smart. And, um, and then they save that on the network and when that is your job, all you do is you have two windows open, one over the network where you can copy from and you copy onto wherever the location is on in your ProPresenter, and then you just double click on it. So one more time just to show you, in case you hadn't gotten it, I'm going to do the short one now, right over. And you'll notice I don't have to do anything else. That just shows up. So I could really do this all day. I mean, it's really straightforward and simple. And it updates what's in there. And uh, so you can, while I wouldn't do this while a video was playing, during a prayer, perfect time to do this, right? So you can uh, do this when the screens aren't in use or when they're lightly in use perhaps and you shouldn't get much indication to the people in the con congregation that that's what's going on so I think that it's really a fun little trick and I hope that you'll use it in your church to go out and change eternity until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.